it's really my fault. I shouldn't have even mentioned you. You're blaming yourself for him being a Neanderthal? But it felt like we'd finally turned a corner. It was like someone whispered in his ear and he was back to the way he used to be. He was sweet. Whoever's whispering in his ear needs to change their tune because he's definitely not sweet around here. I know. Sorry about that. He's doing his best. His best sucks. Oh, God. Who's calling me? They've called seven times already. Hello? Oh my gosh. I've gotta go. Max, get your stuff. We gotta go now. Vic, what happened? It's my stepdad. I, I gotta go. Tell Connor when he gets back, he's in charge. Okay, just let me know if you need anything. Is Dan okay? He had a heart attack. There's no blockage or permanent damage to the heart though, so he should be okay, but we'd still like to keep him overnight for observation. Is there anyone else we should call? No, it's just us. Is he gonna wake up soon? He should, but in the meantime, we're gonna keep running tests. If the two of you would like to wait in the lobby, I'll have a nurse call you when he's up. We're not going anywhere. I'm sure she's fine, okay? She can handle anything. What? That was a compliment? I get that you two are never gonna be BFFs. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. But you can both try making it a little easier on me. It's exhausting being Switzerland. So who's Germany in this situation? Come on, Colin. Oh, hello, people. Good to see you, my man. I was just in the neighborhood, figured I'd swing by, grab a cup of coffee. Check on my favorite young brother. You were in at juniors yesterday. That's because you made me the perfect cup of coffee. I can't risk going back and not having one that good again. Nice save. Where's Prince Charming? Maybe at the gym? He takes leg day very seriously. No offense, but why are you dating him? You're totally out of his league. It's not serious. We have a good time together, and he's fun. Super jealous. I mean, my last not serious relationship wasn't anything like that. And plus, she was my sister's best friend, so. <laughs> Sounds like you like things you can't have. I do. Uh, but if you're free later, you should come hang out at Junior as Droid and I are going to be hanging out later. Sounds thrilling. It's after hours. We have our own secret society with plenty to drink, if you know what I mean. Maybe I will. You'll, what? We're just talking. I need to pop a vein. Nick gave me a freebie at Junior's the other day. I was just thanking him. Really? Listen, New York, do yourself a favor and stay in your lane. And while you're at it, Leave Chelsea alone. She doesn't need handouts, and she's not interested in you. I think Chelsea can speak for herself. <laughs> yes, I can. And I think both of you should cut it out. I can talk to whoever I want. I don't need you to babysit me, okay? But Xander's right. I don't need handouts from you or anyone. Got it. Heard loud and clear. The offer still stands. Think about it. What offer? Nothing. What's up? Just about to ask you the same question. You need to head off soon. Head off? I, I'm in the middle of work. I can't just leave. Don't tell me you forgot. The outreach event? At the community center? You said you'd help out? Oh, crap, I, I I did totally forget. I'm sorry. Seriously, Con, this is an important event. There's gonna be a lot of potential donors there. I just spaced out with everything else going on. Are you sure there's not something else going on? No, it's just school stuff. Are you sure? How's Grace? She's fine. 
Just keeping you happy? What kind of question is that? Of course we're happy. I don't know. Just... There she is. You know, I was just telling Connor about how I haven't seen a lot of you lately. You should come by the campaign office soon. Oh, yeah, I will. Just always so busy with, you know, school. <laughs> totally. I mean, trust me, if there's someone who knows a thing or two about busy, that's me. But hey, what's more important than family, right? You took a while. You lost on your way back? I'm sorry. I needed a break. Max. This place freaks me out. I know. I don't like you here either. Ever since mom? What happens to us if we lose Dan too? I won't let that happen, okay? You can count on me. Come here. You know, you should let other people see how awesome you are too. <laughs> and ruin my reputation? No way. <laughs> and Dan is the strongest guy I know. That's right. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Con, let's go. Candidates can't be late. I'm trying the best I can. I, I asked Jordy to cover for me, but he can't, and Victoria is still at the hospital. Just lock the door. I, I can't just leave my job. You're a barista, Connor. I'm trying to be the mayor. Have some perspective. And quite frankly, you owe me. Honestly, guys, I'm okay. My dignity is hurt worse than anything else. You scared us. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll be back on my feet in a day or so. I've already asked Mrs. Henry to come stay with you two this evening. We find by ourselves. Really. I forget how grown up you are sometimes. You are really something, you know that? You too. Come here, buddy. I want you to come home. I will, tomorrow. Didn't think you were gonna get rid of me that easily, did you? Three of us are a team. We've been through a lot together and we've always stood strong. Even when it's hard. I'm counting on you both to hold it down at home tonight. Can I count on you for that? Yeah. Of course. Well, you get some sleep. Come on, Max. What the heck, Victoria? I was trusting you and you leave the place unattended? You're the manager! I expected more from you! You okay? Where did Connor go and how did this happen? I don't know, he called me and I covered for you for Junior. Some covering. He totally read me out. I can't even leave for the afternoon without everything falling apart. You don't have to yell at me, I'm here. I'll be in the back. I'm breathing in and breaking down. I feel my time is running out. The fire in my heart will burn me to the ground. I did my part. I tried my best. The things I'm fighting to protect always shatter into pieces in the end oh No, you're just in time. And you brought a friend. <laughs> this is Phoebe. She's going through a breakup, and I thought she could use some cheering up. And I brought this. Hope you don't mind she's tagging along. <laughs> no, the more the merrier. Yeah, seriously. Let's, Let's open that up. <laughs> yes. <Come on. laughs> Next time on Juniors. Why does she always have to make me the bad Can guy? Can not talk about Victoria? How could you be lonely? You're a triplet. Being in a house with people who don't really know you is the worst kind of lonely. My dad used to work with your dad. Small world. It's fine, Connor. Everyone has problems, right? <laughs>